the FT. Hello and welcome to The Connected Business. My name is Stephen Pritchard. This month sees the world's largest mobile communications event, Mobile World Congress, take place in Barcelona. Executives from across the mobile industry will gather to network, debate and most of all, show off the latest gadgets. We speak to Anne Bouveau, who is Director General of the GSMA, about what the event has in store this year. But what are the consequences of the growth in mobile consumer devices for the enterprise? Consumer equipment is convenient and can be cheap, but IT departments need to manage it well if it is not to create risks to the business. Cesare Garlati, who is head of consumerization at the security firm Trend Micro, joins us to explain why. Our last guest has plenty of experience of the downsides of mobile technology, though. As head of consumerization at Trend Micro, an IT security firm, Cesare Galati advises customers on the best and safest ways to deploy consumer hardware in the enterprise. But conventional IT management tools just don't work, he says. He joins us now via Skype. It is having a big impact on uh, IT in particular, but in general to the overall business. And I think that the lack of a strategic approach to the consumerization of enterprise mobility in this case, really creates security risks, a financial exposure, and a management nightmare for IT. What would you say the greatest risks are at the moment? Well, security for sure is a big one, but there is also an economical impact of consumer technology in the enterprise, especially when it is brought in directly by the end user, which really changes the schema and the way of operate uh, to which uh, IT is familiar with. What type of problems is this bringing to the fore for IT departments? It, it really uh, comes from a, a lack of control. I would uh, uh, divide the problem in two big sections. One is the consumer technology, even when it is procured in a centralized fashion by IT. Well, consumer technology is sexy, it's easy to use, everyone loves it, but uh, generally speaking, consumer technology, it is not as secure and manageable as IT would expect. So that's a big part of the problem. The technology that is out there that is succeeding in the field, in the market these days, is typically produced and developed by companies that are really, really focused on the consumer needs. Companies, very successful companies, such as Apple and Google, just to mention two of the vendors behind two of the uh, most popular operating systems these days iOS with Apple and Google Android. Well, these companies are great at serving the needs of consumers but they are somehow slow at embracing the requirements of the enterprise. That's one big problem. The second one is when the technology, consumer technology or not, is coming in directly from the end users. And users push these new applications and devices upon IT and expect to be able to use the very same tools that they are familiar with when they are in a working context. And it is somehow difficult for IT to manage because the process so far has been exactly the opposite. IT would manage technology for the enterprise and push it to the end users, not the other way around. So how does a chief information officer go about addressing the problem? Because they can't just turn around and expect it to change. They can't impose those business device restrictions on consumer devices, and they certainly can't impose them on people's personal devices. They may not have the right to do that. So how should they set up their systems to ensure security and data privacy, data integrity? It is a very challenging situation. My recommendation is to, rather than resist it, organizations should embrace consumerization. So this requires a strategic approach, flexible policies, and appropriate security and management tools. So what is a strategic approach? The strategic approach is really the understanding that the consumerization is having a major, major effect across the organization. These kind of policies, approaching a bring your own device program cannot be done in the vacuum just by IT. Every single line of business, any single manager within the organization needs to be involved. Obviously, it impacts IT, but it also impacts HR. It impacts finance. So the first recommendation is really have a conversation across the board. Speak with all the line of business. Figure out what end users would like to use or what they already brought into the enterprise and figure out what is the best use of it. So this is somehow proactive rather than reactive. Don't expect for things to happen when it's probably too late. Uh, the second recommendation is about flexible policies, and this is a really a key aspect of uh, consumerization. In a world where end users, employees, executives, your own CEO, members of your board, 
bring in whatever they want and expect to be able to use it, the single standard is simply not applicable. So the recommendation would be, instead of looking at one single standard, you have to have a flexible set of standards. Don't say no, but don't say yes to everything for everyone. In this new context, the old, the traditional IT management and security tools are not going to work. So IT needs really to understand and eventually procure new infrastructure that will help them cope with this consumer technology brought in by the end users. Cesare Galati there on the need for IT to develop ways to manage consumer devices rather than simply to resist them. But that's all there's time for on this week's show. We'll be back on the 7th of March. Until then, thank you to our guests and thank you for listening. For more downloads, go to ft.com forward slash podcasts.